Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vita Studio and today a quick video to share with you how to create that paper edge transition effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna see together how you can do that from scratch inside of Fusion, how you can save that and then reuse it very easily for your future project and how you can adjust it so it really fit the project that you're working on. All right, so as a starting point, I have two clips here in my timeline. I want to apply a transition to it. The quickest way to go about it is to select the two clip and hit Command T. It's just gonna prompt open that window because those two clips are not trimmed. So I'm just gonna ask DaVinci Resolve to trim them automatically in order to apply the transition. Another way to do that is simply to do the trimming yourself. And then you can either drag an additive dissolve in between the two clips or again you can just select your two clip it command t on your keyboard and it will just bring the transition right now we're just gonna need the first one we don't need the other one so i'm just gonna remove them and then we're gonna select the transition right here that we've added we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna just convert it to a fusion cross dissolve that's just gonna here bring us that little icon telling us that we can go over to fusion to work on it so we're just gonna click on that and so right now we are in Fusion, that's the two clip we're working on and there is a basic fade uh, transition happening. We're gonna delete that and we're just gonna create our own. So I'm gonna delete that right now. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is going over to Effect Template and then here in the search bar, I'm gonna search for Paper and I'm gonna drag the Paper Edge effect right here. I'm gonna then connect my media in two to that paper edge and then I'm gonna connect the output of that to the media in one. Now I'm gonna select my media in two and then here I'm gonna click on the polygon and we're gonna start to draw a polygon which basically gonna be all paper effect. I'm gonna start by going to frame number four. So I'm just gonna do a simple triangle and then I'm gonna close that loop and then we're gonna add a few points here on the triangle so we have more points to play with later on. So here I'm gonna add maybe, I don't know, a few more like that and that will do the job. Then I'm gonna select all those points and I'm gonna here go to publishing point and I'm gonna publish all of them. That's gonna bring all those points into our inspector. I'm gonna drop a keyframe on each of those at frame number four. And now we're basically gonna keyframe each of those points every four frame to create all transition. So now I'm just gonna go to frame number eight. Here is just randomly click to unselect everything. And we're gonna just start to expand that paper transition. So I'm gonna here move some of those points. Here we go. We're just gonna do that one by one. And then here you can basically create any shape that you like. So if you have a character or something that you would like to outline, uh, you can do that right here. On this one, I'm just gonna make a general paper transition, but you can then adapt it to whatever is on screen. For example, we could just take the outline of that character right here in the background or potentially do the reverse and here basically outline the character laying on the ground playing guitar. All right, so now I'm gonna continue and go to frame 12. We're gonna keep expanding it and you're basically creating, again, the shape that you like. I'm gonna pass the process for the next two or three times, but you just want to basically expand it like bigger and bigger. So right now I'm just gonna repeat that for frame number 16, frame number 20, and frame number 24, which basically gonna be the end of my transition. So now as you can see, we've basically finished to expand that transition. It's just going step by step. Now we can just go and adjust a bit of paper edge. As you can see right now, it's not looking great. We could just work on it a little bit. So we're just gonna go over to the paper edge and then we're gonna increase here the border width. In my opinion, I want to have that paper edge being chunkier. And then we can play around with the edge contrast by reducing it or increasing it. In that case, we're just gonna decrease it slightly. And then we can play around with the edge roughness and the edge intensity. Right now, I'm quite happy with that result. I'll let you play around and really just create the kind of border that you want to create. Or lastly, for the animation, I forgot right here, as you can see, we're starting from frame four. We've done that on purpose so we can see all of all points. But now that we've finished to drop all the keyframe, we're gonna go back to frame zero and then we're just gonna 
bring all the points together. So they are basically starting from nowhere. So we don't see them too much at the beginning. So here, I'm just gonna bring them all together. And now they don't appear too much from the beginning. So now for the animation, you have two options. Either if you like it like that, if you want to have uh, that gradual process of just the paper expanding, you can keep it that way. But I would like to give it a bit more of a stop motion feel. So to do that, I'm gonna go over to the spline. And then here I'm gonna select polygon. I'm gonna unselect the polyline. And then we're gonna just select zoom to fit right here. Then select all or keyframe. And then here we're gonna click on step in. Basically what it's gonna do, instead of doing gradual changes between one keyframe point to another, it's just gonna step directly from one point to the other. So it gives us a bit more like a stop motion look to the transition. Now it's already looking pretty good, but if you want to go a step further, we can try to add some texture. You can search online for paper background on places like Unsplash or like YouTube. Uh, just find whatever texture you like, and then you can just take it and drag it to your working area. It can be either a video clip or an image. Then here I'm gonna bring a merge node and I'm gonna hit shift space on my keyboard and search for a bitmap. And we're gonna bring here the bitmap. We're gonna unlink the paper edge and we're gonna connect it to the merge and we're gonna link also the paper edge to bitmap and the bitmap to the merge and then here or texture we're just going to connect it to the green arrow and then we're going to connect the output of the merge to the first merge right here now we can see the paper background being in all frame but obviously we don't want it like that we're going to go over to the merge 2 and then here in the merge 2 we're just going to first expand it so it's filling up the frame and then we can choose between different blending mode depending on the style that we want to achieve. In my case, I think the best would probably be multiply because in my opinion, it's more subtle and it looks fairly clean. But depending on your texture, you could try out things like screen or you could try overlay or for example, soft light or hard light. They will all give you different results. In my case, we're just gonna revert to multiply. And then here I'm gonna go a step farther. I'm gonna select my media in three, it shifts space on my keyboard, and then we're gonna search for brightness and we're gonna bring the brightness and contrast node. Then here, depending on the clip that we have, we can adjust the gain and the contrast to have the paper showing up more or less. The brightness and contrast node gonna help us to basically fine tune the look of that paper by playing around with the gain and the contrast, but also animate the opacity of that effect to fade it out when the effect is over. So right now, the first thing that I want to do is activate the alpha channel, and then we're gonna start to play around here with the gain to just really dial in the look that we want. As you can see, when I decrease the gain, we don't see the paper texture as much. And when I increase the gain, we see the paper texture quite a lot. So you can just find the sweet spot uh, depending on what you want. In my case, I'm just gonna increase it uh, to around two. And then here, I'm gonna increase the contrast a little bit as well. And here we go. I think I'm happy with that texture. Now I'm gonna go to frame 20 and I'm gonna drop a keyframe on the gain. And then we're gonna go towards the end of our composition and I'm gonna bring the gain down to zero. And now basically, as you can see, from frame 20 to frame 30, we're gonna have a gradual fade of that texture to just then completely disappear. Then one little adjustment that I want to do here, as you can see on my paper edge, there is the shadow that is very pronounced. We're gonna correct that by going over to the paper edge and then we're gonna just scroll down. We're gonna increase the softness and then we're gonna decrease the alpha to have a shadow that is a bit more subtle. And that's pretty much it. Now we have our effect working well. The last thing to do is simply to save it so we can reuse it in the future. To do that, we can simply go back to the edit page and then here we can just right click on it and then create transition preset. Then you can rename it whatever you want. So edge transition paper, click OK, and it will just save it. Now, anytime you need it, you can always go to the search bar and search for that edge transition paper effect. As you can see, I can bring two brand new clip and then bring the edge transition paper effect right above it. And now if I play it, as you can see, it will be applied to the new clip. Now you can still make a bunch of modification to it. You can always select here that transition. And then here in the inspector, you can make some adjustment directly to the border. If you want to 
decrease the border size. If you want to increase the border size, you can adjust the contrast on the edges. Everything basically related to the paper, you can adjust that right there. You can reduce or remove completely the shadow if you wish to. But not only that, also you can always go back to Fusion and adjust the point. So here right now we're back in Fusion, then I can select my polygon and I just need to remember that basically my keyframe are every uh, four frame from the frame four. So then we can adjust that, make some modification right here to change the shape of our transition to whatever we would like. And now we have a paper transition with a brand new shape. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in a comment what kind of video you would like to see next and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetastudio.com.